you don't have to do a lot. These two lines are for instantiating objects, which means that um, I'm creating a variable called instantiated arrow, which is a rigid body, and I'm instantiating um, this object arrow, which is a cube in this case. Like I have this arrow here, and in crosshair, um, I have linked to that from the inspector panel, and in this, I'm using the same arrow. This is the same as this, and I've linked this to this using the inspector panel. After this, doing this, I instantiated the arrow at this point, right, and this is for rotations. I don't want any rotations. That's why I do a quaternion.identity. And then I set the velocity towards um, the direction in where the ray hits any colliding object. Um, so this is the point where the ray hit. I'm going to come to this in a while. But um, these two lines should um, should just create an um, object and uh, shoot that object wherever you set the direction. At this point, okay. Um, so, but that does no good in a game, right? Because when you design a game, um, you want to shoot the objects or bombs or pre whatever prefabs that you have at the enemies or some crucial targets, right? So you have to um, you have to uh, map the position of the, en the enemy your crosshair, right? That's that's the main point of as of sniper games or first person shooter games, right? So how do you do that? Um, you do that by something called a ray cast. Uh, if you if you've done um, if you studied rays of light in physics, then in your high school, then you must be familiar with this ray. A ray travels in a straight line, and uh, in this case. This ray is from this object uh, called a ray, and um, I'm using the camera's screen point to ray function, which takes in the input dot mount position as, as the parameter, which basically means that um, this is my screen, and I'm shooting a ray from the mouse position like this, okay? But since it's coming from this direction because um, my, um, I, I'm throwing it from somewhere around here, that's why it, it, a little, it looks a little skewed. It doesn't actually appear from the position of my mouse, but somewhere near the position of my mouse. That should do it for the, this tutorial. Well, so, um, here I shoot a ray. This, um, sorry, I create a ray right here, and this is for collecting the information um, of the of the body or a collider in which your ray hit when you when you shot it. And how do you do that? You do it using physics dot raycast. It's already built in, so you don't have to put in much effort. And it takes on two parameters: ray and hit. Ray is the actual ray that you created, and hit um, gets populated when you hit a collider, which is when you hit another collider. Okay, um, and then here I I took the same hit, and then I subtracted my current position, and and shot the arrow or my cube at that. That direction. Okay, so so that's that's the basic thing here. Another thing that I'd like to talk about is debug the draw line. This this um, function. Um, I bet most of you have used debug dot log, which logs the uh, messages that you want to prompt in the console. But um, this 
this function is particularly useful when you're doing ray cast because you want to know where your ray hit. Right. Um, so how do you do this? You just write a simple line, D bucks and draw line. This is the starting point of your line. This is the end point of your line. And um, this is the color you want your line to be in.